Call it Paul Bubba Sparks. Booty, yeah, booty, booty, rock and never wear. Booty, booty. What's up YouTube is Desi and I'm back with another video y'all and so this video I'm going to talk about as far as for the math part the certified medical assistant exam um as you guys may watch any of my videos I always talk about my experience when I took the NCCT um exam um now one thing I wanted to do as far as for this video, uh, this video is going to show you exactly how to do the medication um, dosage calculations. So this is basically going to deal with the pharmacology part when it comes to the medical assistant test. So what I did was I only did five problems for y'all. So that way we could work on it together every day. But um, basically, so the doses calculation, this is going to be the formula that you'll be using as far as for your certification test for the medical assistant exam. This is going to be the formula test. So you're going to have two different formulas. It's going to be one for the oral medication and one is going to be for the IV medication. And this is basically going to be the name of the formula. Now, most people may know this formula as far as for dosage overhand or something like that desired overhand formula or whatnot this will be the formula that you'll be knowing as far as for which how much medication the patient is going to be getting so if anybody wants to know basically the dosage calculations is done to calculate the required number or volume of drugs to administer to the patient so it could be anything rating for the percocet or anything for morphine extended release or anything that's just medication um this will basically be a way where you could pretty much administer medication two ways where you could either can be tablet form or fluid form um so what i was able to do was just kind of start off with the easy problems first to show you guys on how to do it on the side you guys will be able to see as far as for my math work on how i did it um one thing i want to say is that for the medication for the medical assistant certification test you do not have any calculators so you want to make sure that you know your formulas when it comes to converting pounds to kilograms or kilograms to pounds milliliters all those type of conversions you want to make sure that you know because they will not give you no type of spreadsheet for that or they won't give you any type of calculator so again there will not be any type of calculators on the test now i'm only going to do five problems today but this was kind of like a printout that i did to kind of and you guys can kind of go on the website so you could type this in right here dosage and calculation quiz and this will give you like a whole printout where you can kind of print out practice sheets if you want to try it but um i definitely feel like print these out so you can kind of try and get your practice in as far as for the um the formulas and also the mathematic that'll be on the um ncc exam so what i did was i started off with this first one and we're going to go through it together so let me switch the camera all right, so you guys, we're gonna go through this together. Again, this is gonna help you out as far as for your um, medication test, as far as, for, why I keep saying medication, there's so many M's. This is gonna help you for your certification test for medical assistant. Again, this is gonna be the guidelines for the NCCT exam for medication, um, for medical assistant. This is the book of questions, but however, this is just like a book to kind of show you the type of questions that may be similar on a test. This is what I had during my externship, but I'm basically trying to show you guys the, the math part. And this is kind of like an outline to show you the type of topics that'll be on the test. You have medical office management, medical terminology, pharmacology, anatomy and physiology, and medical procedure. All right, so you guys, this is gonna be question one. This is gonna be similar to what it'll be like on the test. So basically, MD writes in order for Tylenol, 160 by mouth, MG by mouth, as needed every six hours for pain for a child. Pharmacy dispenses you 80 MG per ml. How many mLs will you administer per dose? So Tylenol, if you guys don't know, always try to ed, um, look up your medication list because there's going to be a wide range of medications on the medical assistant test. So you want to make sure that you know. Um, Tylenol is basically a, um, acetaminophen. So basically that'll be used to kind of help out with pain. Um, kind of in the same bracket as far as for ibuprofen itself. Ibuprofen is kind of for pain and also inflammation as well too. But just to kind of know your uh, background as far as for your medications. So you guys are already able to see the answer, but however, I would like for you guys to kind of try to do this on the side, or if you could kind of work with me on this one. So this will be the formula that you'll be using as far as for the oral dose. It'll be stock required and stock strength. So what I did was highlight as far as for the one that's required, which is the Tylenol, which is 160, and the one that's gonna be the strength, which is what, the, what you have on hand, um, that's going to be the 80. Now, for the most part, you may see a lot of problems where they have, say for instance, you see how this one has three numbers. You have the 160, the six hours, and the 80. You want to try to see which ones is the main part of what you're looking for because they will throw in certain stuff in there to just try to throw you off. So you want to make sure that you do know. So what I did was 
for the two, I basically put the 160 right here. I put the 80 right here and you're going to divide that and you get 2 ml. So this one was basically like an easy type of um, scenario question. You're not going to always have questions this easy. But for the first one, it's going to be 2 mls as far as for that because you're technically just dividing the 160 by the 80. Okay, so that'll be for question one. Let's go on to question two. So for question two, it says the MD writes an order for Moscomist. I could be saying that wrong. Um, I do need to work on my pronunciation with the medications, but this one is kind of like cough, me cough medicine. I did look this one up for you. So it'll be anything that's pertaining to whenever you have a cold or anything like that. All right, so it um, 300 mg's by mouth, one dose before heart cap. Pharmacy dispenses you 600 mg slash 2 ml. How many ml will you administer per dose? So for this one, you're going to be using a different type of formula. This is going to be for the IV dose. So if you guys refer back to the one that I showed you earlier, this one is going to be for the oral dose. This one's for the IV dose. So what you're going to do is technically, it's kind of the same thing, except you're just going to time it, multiply, multiply by the volume. So you'll do those two numbers times the volume, and that'll be the answer that you get. So let's try to see how we're going to do this. So let's point out as first how many numbers do we have in this scenario. So we have 300, 600, and 2 ml there. So you kind of have everything already for you. So what you're going to do is 300 will go right here, 600 will go right here, and then you're going to multiply that by 2 ml. Don't forget your um, formula that you guys use in like middle school, PEMDAS. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. You want to always do what's in parentheses, then you kind of just go by in order. All right, so this will be, hold on, I gotta cover this up so y'all won't be seeing other ones. <laughs> this will be um, how you do it. And like I say, always try to know as far as for your multiplication because there will not be a calculator on the test. So 600 and 300 divided by 600, which will get you 0 0.5. And then you're gonna times the 0 0.5 by two. And then you, that'll be the answer that you get. So therefore your answer will be C. All right. And question three is quite is quite um, different. Question three was actually pretty tough, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to explain it as much as I can. With this one, there's gonna be certain problems where you have to probably do two parts to a um, test. So this one says the MD writes an order for ibuprofen 3mg slash kg by mouth every six hours for paying for a child. The child weighs 73 pounds. Pharmacy dispenses you with 50mg slash 2ml. How many mls will you administer per dose so the first thing you want to do first is you're going to have to convert the child's weight to the kilograms that's why i tell you guys to always make sure you remember your formula because certain questions you're going to have to use the weight to try to get the answer as far as for how much medication to get for the patient okay so what you're going to do is you're going to convert the child's weight to the kilogram so that'll be one you need to know as far as for how much it is for one pound to a kilogram so one pound equals 0.4 for 0 0.4 I'm saying it wrong 0 0.454 kilograms so that'll be 75 times 0 0.454 and that'll be the answer that you get so if you could just make sure that you do get that answer so that'll be for part one all right so now that you have the 3.33.142 what you're going to now do is you're going to times that by the three milligrams and the reason why you're times in that by the three milligrams, because you want to make sure that you get the total milligrams of how much it'll be for the patient. So three milligrams times three, the total that you had got by the um, child's weight, once you converted it, that'll be the number that you get 99.426. All right. So now you want to work on the second part of the, of the, um, the, the question. So now you have to determine the ML amount. So this will, don't forget about the 50 mg's times the 2 ml's. So the 50 mg, you're going to divide that by the 2 ml's to get your total number of ml. So when you divide 50 divided by 2, you get 25. So that'll be for the part 1. So this part is done. That part is done. So you're left with just the 25 mg um, slash ml. So what you're going to do is the same number you got for right here and the same number you got for right here are going to divide by each other. So you're going to divide that part, this number, by the 25, and that'll be the number that you get. When you see this sign right here, that's just letting you know that there's so many numbers going on. But if anything, if you don't see 4 on here, you'll pretty much see that answer on here, which is 
and that'll be your answer for that question. So certain questions you want to take your time with, you got to really understand that it may be two, a uh, two part to the um to the question or scenario. So you want to take your time as far as for that. All right, and then now we're going to go on to question four. Question four is kind of the same one as we did for the um the original one. It's a it's just a different situation. So MD orders and MD writes an order for like um lactives or lactose yeah md writes an order for lactose 20 milk 20 grams by mouth twice a day bid means twice a day pharmacy dispenses you with 10 grams slash 15 ml how many mls will you administer per dose so this will be the formula that you'll be using because this is going to be an IV medication. Whenever you see ML, you'll know that'll be for the IV. And this one is pretty simple. So basically, if you guys look, there's a total of one, two, three numbers. So what you're going to do is go ahead and get the 20 is going to go on top because that's what's required. The 10 is going to go at the bottom because that's what's the strength. And you're going to divide that. You then get two grams next after that. You're going to time that two grams by 15 ml because the 15 ml is going to be the volume of the stalk and you get 30 ml and that'll be the answer for that one. Okay. And the last one is going to be ML writes in order for a lower tab. Lower tab is basically hydrocodone. That'll be a pain medication for you. A lower tab by mouth as needed for pain every four hours. Pharmacy dispenses you with 7.5 mg slash 15 ml. How many tablespoons will you administer per dose? So this one was pretty easy to me. Honestly, though they give you a lot of numbers to try to throw you off, they gave you the 5 mg, they gave you the 4 hours, they gave you the 7.5 mg, the 15 ml. They're not asking for the IV dose, if you guys notice that. They're asking as far as for how many tablespoons will you administer. So what I just did was I just kind of used the same exact formula as I would right here as the oral dose. And I just kind of just did the stock required divided by the stock strength. So that'll be the 5 mg divided by 7.5 and I got 0 0.6. So for my choices, I ended up getting 0 0.6 tablespoons. So that'll basically be the ones that you guys will be having something similar like on the test. This is just kind of something to kind of show you exactly how to do it. I will do a set of problems every day or as much as I can just to kind of give you an outline of that. But um, this is pretty much to help you guys out. Hopefully this helped you guys out. Comment below and let me know what you think. And good luck on your um, medical assistant test.